Welcome to Animalistic Worlds, early access version. Now this game, uh, as you can see in the game jolt page that I found it in, it, it's uh, nine months old. So this is a, uh, mm, it's really, I don't know, it's just, you know, it's nine months old, that's, that's all I can say. So I'm not sure if it's going to be updated, no idea, but as for the story, after the two office workers, the bearded dragon, the bearded dragon, hell yeah, bearded dragons, uh, Beardford, and the Samoid dog, I love Samoids, uh, Houndrick, pick a fight with a gang in a junkyard after work. They unwillingly discover that there's an underground place full of dangerous animals they had never seen before in their peaceful city. Looked interesting. And I thought to give it a go. So let's do that. Good morning, Animal Hood. It's Monday, so you better go to work. Although work might be torture for you, we at Animal Mix Radio have picked songs that are perfect to listen to. Enjoy the music here at Animal Mix Radio. That This was DJ Labrador. It was? Did he die? Dad, turn the radio off. I can hear it from inside the house. Aw, oh, damn, they even got cars and stuff. As you can tell, it's an RPG Maker style game. He had a little tiny mice, it looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Samoids. They're big fluffers. <laughs> but I mean, he doesn't look as fluffy as you'd imagine. <laughs> it's just. Like, seriously, if you type Samoid, if you've never seen Samoid, or you, you hear the name Samoid as a dog. And you don't picture in your head what they look like. Just go like Google image them. They're just big honking fluffers. Like seriously, if I had, if I owned any dog, it'd be a corgi or a samoyed. Those are like my two favorite breeds of dog. Like seriously, I should change that crappy ringtone, or else this sound will appear in my nightmares. But now it's time for work. Yay! Yeah, let's see. I'd like to put my pants on first. Hey! Hey, snazzy boy! When did I leave this on? No idea. Nice little fan. Wait. It's like a... I don't know, let's call him like an, an eagle flying while looking at a phone, I guess it looks like. No, it's good, uh, good style going for it, I mean... It's unique, much I can at least say at the get-go. It's also got a stylization if it chooses, like, say, I mean, I don't, I don't have to check. I already know that I don't have any other clothes. Oof. Um, it almost makes me think it's like a comic style because the screen's at the top left, like, like really far top left, and that's not a resolution or ratio thing. That's just what it's going for. I'm not sure. It's unconventional, but not complaining. I don't really need to use it right now. Maybe I should buy myself a mirror to raise my self-esteem. That's a waste of money. You don't need self you don't have self-esteem issues. You're a big fluffy boyo. You shouldn't have any self-esteem issues. I don't feel like showering right now. And maybe you can be anxious just because work is a pain, but I don't know. Found some dog food. Rota cola. I don't have anything to cook. You got, you got dog food? Uh, dogs love this. Recovers 100 HP, but only for Houndrick. Recovers 20% of NP and gains 10% of TP, a very popular drink that is unhealthy for doggos. A very expensive smartphone, but it looks just like any other smartphone. I guess we should just go. But nah. Uh, oh, I'm gonna call him a rabbit instead. Let's save the bunny for the cute looking ones. Uh, good morning, neighbor. Good morning. Could you please stop smoking in my room? I value my health very much. Oh man, and I hope you wouldn't would tell me something different today in the morning. It's the only reason I, why I'm interacting with you. If I were a if I were a person, I would have scratched your face for that remark, neighbor. And that's why I don't interact with person. I don't know what to think of you, neighbor. I hear that pretty often. It's like you try to make it sound like you're a victim just because Houndrick is telling you to not have to. S like, if, if, is this his room right here? I just, want to st I just wanted to steal your thing so you feel bad for smoking in my room. The hell, neighbor? 
Okay, so he said, why are you why are you suddenly trying to break into my room? Are you, why are you smoking here? You could be smoking right here. But you're a douche, and you're standing right here. These are kind of rabbits that don't deserve the, the nice treatment. I don't even know who lives here. Nope, I'm not going in to enter person's room. Fuck this rabbit. And not not in a good way. Snake! Aw, oh, cutie. I finally got my day off from all my part-time jobs. So oh, good morning, neighbor Hendrick. Good morning. How do you know my name, even though we've never talked before? If I want to get along with everyone, I have to know their names first. Uh, with everyone, you mean everyone that lives in this entire building? Yep, it's how I got lots of friends in grade school. Some animals did call that creepy in later years, but it works in this neighborhood. The name's... Serpenjamin. Serpenjamin? Serpenjamin. Sure, I'll go with it. Sure. Feel free to say hi to me if you happen to meet me in one of my many part-time jobs. Yeah, sure, whatever. Bye. For a Samoid... I'd imagine Samoid's traits would be very social animals. Houndrick seems very... Anti-social. Hey, old dog. This place behind me is reserved to me and my gang. If you want to go through, you ought to give me a fee. No, ask your mom if you need pocket money. I have more important stuff to do in there. <laughs> give me your wallet if you want to enter. You don't want to make me and my friends angry, right? Imaginary friends don't count. You're the only dove in this apartment complex. Listen here, old mutt. You're going to give me your wallet if you want to leave unscathed or what's coming next will really hurt you. Oh, wow. I'm so scared, but not scared enough to give you my wallet. <laughs> Damn. Hendrix got balls. We're taking this outside now, mutt. Is this where I kick your ass? You can't run away now. Oh, yeah. Delinquent dove emerged. It's got some, got some sassy animation going on here. Wait, is that a freaking baseball bat? Yep, it's the one I used back in middle school. <laughs> I like his attitude, there we go. Stronger hit, swing with a baseball bat that is slightly stronger. You got hollow bones, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. How about a regular one? What the hell is wrong with you? You trying to kill me? No, but you never said if weapons were allowed in this fight, so I assumed they were. I guess a regular hit's good enough. He has been slain! Great! <laughs> he just wins the fight! Great! Not even an exclamation mark, just great. Great! I'll take your wa- <laughs> I'll take your wallet. Ow, what is your problem, dog? You wanted to fight, though. Fights are usually not fair, dove. What do you want? Don't think you can look down at me. Don't you think it's better if we train a bit more? Train? What do you think I am, dog? A tutorial fight? Oh, I won't let that insult slide. Well, I guess I could just try to beat him up again, unless he gets stronger for some reason. They did 43 damage. But if I did stronger hit... 48. It's a waste. It's a waste. It cost me... 5... TP. There's no point. Oh. 25. Let's keep hitting him. Cool, I beat up a teenager. <laughs> I don't feel like much changed. What are you talking about? Everything got improved. It's just his cynicism, I guess. You got more, uh, more HP? I'll take your wallet. I already took it, though. How much time are you going to waste? Don't you think it's better if we train a bit more? I heard that line already. A tutorial fight? Just shut up. <laughs> uh, funny. Well, I'll keep beating him up, I guess. I wonder uh, how many times I can beat him up until it's... Uh... Also, wait. What? I think he's actually getting stronger. He's only taking 25 damage instead of for the 40... Oh, oh. I guess that's just because he's guarding each time. No, I'll just keep beating up and seeing what other things uh, Houndrick says, I guess. I cool, I beat up a teenager again. Plus 25 XP. And no wallet, of course. I don't care anymore. Just fight me, then leave. Don't you think it's better if we train a bit more? I'll say this over and over again, Dove. Damn. That's like... 
<laughs> just this little sociopathic, but I'll keep going. Unless that's the last line. I'll just keep going as long as there's original dialogue. I don't care anymore, just fight me then leave. Nah, I have other stuff to do. Thank you. <laughs> I beat him up so much, I basically ruined... Like, his- any passion this person had is just out the window. I don't even know who lives here, either. I don't even know who lives here. Hey, do- are we supposed to go this way? No? Is the front door broken? Morning. I like this snake. So we have to leave by the side, I guess. Wait. Do I not leave from here? Hmm. Well, all right, uh, was that all there was to the game? Is it just this? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure if there's anything else I can do, unless I'm just missing out on something, because the store page did say it was limited. This might be all there is to the game, unfortunately. Hmm. Because I can't go down here, so I can't get to my car. And I can't go up above even further. Ah, uh, maybe that is all there is. Yeah, so... Animalistic Worlds, as it says here, in version 1.1.4, 1. 1. it's less than a demo version. You can't really go to many places yet, and all the places you can go are in the building you start in. In the demo version... This was posted one month ago. Okay, so the demo version of Animalistic Worlds will be released on December the 20th, very specifically. Catch the bugs, then eat them like an animal? Wait, what? Bug catching. Bug catching? Ah, shoot. Wait. There are no bugs left. You can capture bugs. Interesting. And supposedly eat them. I wonder if they, like, give stat buffs or something. Besides, you know, protein and whatnot. Interesting. But yeah. So, the demo will come out in December, that may as well be, uh, I mean, basically three months from now. Well, I'm sure we can wait for that long, but for early access, no, I, I like the promise that the game shows. Uh, you have a, a cynical, possibly sociopathic dog that has clearly a backstory where, I don't know, he, he's a business dog right now. I guess probably not really too happy in life. Maybe going through a midlife crisis. Very cynical, but definitely was someone who got in trouble a lot as a, a younger pup. He's seen probably a lot of the dark sides of life and tries to move on from that, but probably can't because of people like this guy. So, I don't know, he knows how to carry, uh, carry himself in a fight and everywhere else. But either way... Uh, looks interesting. I see the promise. I definitely uh, enjoy this early access. It's not even demo size. So as soon as the December demo comes out, I'm sure it'll be like... If anything, I'll anecdotally assume it'll be like triple the content that's in this. If not more than triple the content. Because all that we have right now is one fight. But the fight shows promise because just from the animations alone. And the detail. Wait. Shouldn't get too close to him. No. He actually came out of his room? Or she? Not him. Hmm. I wasn't expecting actually for anything more to happen that they came out of the room. Interesting. But why would... that's weird. He really doesn't like going near him. Don't talk to me. Person might target me. Be quiet. Say that louder and I will bring you to him. Okay, sorry, neighbor. Here. I'll give you your money back, but stay quiet, please. Took you long enough to pay. Interesting. Huh. I wasn't expecting that. Something else. I, like, I, there's actually more stuff to do. I'm guessing then when the demo happens, it'll be an easy way of getting a good amount of money. At least a good starter amount of cash, because... Hmm. As soon as... person shows up, then the dialogue changes completely and you get free easy money at the get-go. I'm guessing it might be a random chance if you go down the stairs and up the stairs. 
I would assume most people probably wouldn't even notice that this event exists because what you do is probably go down here, you talk to the snake, you go outside, you beat up the bird, and then you go to work or something like that. But person just coming out of the room and then getting free money. Who'd have imagined that? Mm, it interrupted my, my, my... Yeah, like that. Random, a random event if you go up and down enough times because then you go down, you go back up, and then they leave. It's either you do it three times and they show up, or it's a random chance. Let's try. Just to verify, 100%. Oh, nope, random. And I don't think it's time-based that they stay. It's just random chance that they're there and random chance that they're not there. But it's not a rare RNG chance. It's, it's pretty common. But if they already have that in mind, that means... Imagine that thought process, but in different places, like... Uh, similar in Fear and Hunger, and I don't want this rant to go on t for too long, for obvious reasons. In Fear and Hunger, there's also tile sets, or whatever you want to call it in terms of RPG Maker, where in Fear and Hunger, the developer had said there's some places in the game that are like 1% chance of even happening, completely based on, you know, you start a new game, it'll build the world, and some hallways may be connected to a room or area that you just really are unlikely to see, but exists. So in some rare, absolute chance, there are opportunities where there'll be a, a room that just doesn't exist in most playthroughs that you'll only see just by sheer luck. It'll be some kind of interesting event that you'll never see otherwise that might add to the lore or some other, something like that. But in this game, in a similar way, there's events that you have to be knowledgeable of or just by some mere chance or some... Sheer coincidence, sheer RNG values that you'll see like this, where it's like, oh, well, if you re-go re in the same area multiple times, something different might happen. Where? When? You won't know until, you know, you just randomly discover it and then go, wow, that's crazy. It's the kind of shit, like, if you watch Final Fantasy X or other kind of Final Fantasy games, there are some things being discovered in those games that, even like ten years later, people are only discovering now, which is kind of crazy when you think about that kind of uh, development style where some secrets just can not be found or not be discovered or not have been recorded until so much, like so many years pass by and then it gets noticed. It's pretty cool. But again, I see a lot of promises in this game and I'll look forward to the demo in December. I hope you enjoy this early access game and also look forward to the game. Link in the description below if you want to follow the game yourself, if you're interested in playing yourself. And whatnot, I don't know, but I will definitely be playing on December 20th. So, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.